It's West Best Wednesday, so we're chatting to one of the heavier bands on the lineup, Tellurian. It was like intimidating to know that we would be sharing a stage with Pog. And Dan will tell us about one of the acts he's excited to see during the festival on the 1st of October. Produced on Awabakal and Warramai land, this is The Good Stuff, powered by BYD on Newcastle Live. This is good. Good. Good stuff. The good stuff. Over the weekend, we caught up with Tellurian backstage at Thrashville to find out what we can expect from their set at West Best Blockfest. Well, the first question I want to ask you guys is what sets you apart from everyone else that's on the scene at the moment? Um, I feel like a lot of our music is... It comes from a place of improvisation and what we feel at a moment in time. And it's an old way of writing music because, you know, it's so easy today with a lot of different doors and programs and stuff. You can construct things and write on the spot. But we like the old way of kind of just getting in a room and like pumping out something that's fresh. And then we'll, we'll make it into something after that, which is, yeah. Yeah, me and, me and Liam particularly spent a lot of time like grinding with chord progressions and drum tracks and jamming. And then once we got Brenton in to do vocals, it was like, we just kept that. We kept jamming. We just keep the jam as our writing process. Yeah. And yeah, and we video it and then like just try and do what we did last week, the week after, and it just like builds on on it like that. We don't really demo and then rewrite. It's sort of like, it settles in in the jam. So who's the main lyricist? That would be me. (laughs) Where does the inspo usually come from? Um, I normally start with what the track feels like and try and get like a sense of the energy that it has and then come up with a lyrical concept from that and bounce it off these guys. A lot of our lyrics that we're going for and the concept of a band as a whole is I guess talking about the human condition for want of a better term of just experiences that we all have as people living in, in the modern setting and the um, tension and shit times basically that, that can, <laughs> can give you and then try and draw lyrics from there. What's your favourite performance been as Tellurian so far? I think fave the, moments? I, I think this one yeah. yeah I think we really nailed it and um, Eric's a new member and it's sort of like we've we've all settled in yeah we've, and like the the little overlap that happens when you add a new member was dealt with with previous shows so this is kind of like the first one where it's all we yeah. all ar- arrived and we all played our best and yeah I don't think we made a mistake it was tight as yeah. so tight We've good. had some pretty good ones at like West Best as well, where yeah, it's, and Band Aid earlier this year. Yeah, the crowd got really, really into it, and we weren't quite sure what would happen as probably the only heavy band on the bill. But people, people went off, and that's always heaps of fun. Yeah, yeah. was this the biggest stage that you've played on so far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was it intimidating yeah. or surprisingly no? I thought it would be for sure. But just feeding off the energy that the crowd had, it was, it felt like easy. It was seriously amazing. Yeah. Yeah, it was a really easy set. Um, but it, it was like intimidating to know that we would be sharing a stage with Pog. Yeah. And that, you know, we're Warming up the stage we were for him. Quite inspired by that yeah. yeah. That, that was humbling <laughs> for sure. Shook yeah. Still shook. Yeah. So what are the main goals for Tellurian for the rest of the year? We've got some yeah. shows lined up and we probably want to get into the studio at the start of November and hopefully drop a single maybe next year before sec- first half of next year. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. Any final comments? It was an honor, truly. We had some yeah, it was an honor. Yeah, and thanks for the interview. That's okay, you guys killed it out there and I reckon you've gotten a whole heap of new friends from that set. Friends and fans, sorry. Yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thanks for joining me today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Bonnie. That's okay. This is where it sounds good. The good stuff. Boxed wine enthusiast Goon Gremlins are definitely one to mark down on your must-see lineup at West Best Blockfest. 
The dynamic quartet are definitely killing it at the moment with some great guitar riffs and emotionally charged lyrics. They've shared stages with acts like Kingswood, Pacific Avenue and Carla Geneve. Fave track is probably attention span. Just can't wait to see them play it live at West Best Blockfest on the 1st of October. We'll see you there. Don't forget to get your tickets early. The good stuff. That's it for the good stuff today. I'd love to say a big thank you to Tellurian. Be sure to grab your tickets to see them live at West Best Blockfest. Thanks heaps for joining us and we'll see you from 4pm tomorrow for more of the good stuff. 